What is going on everybody? Very excited to showcase these collar hooks. These essentially take any standard two inch barbell collar, regardless of the type of barbell, and convert it into a resistance band barbell. Those of you guys have been watching my channel for some time, I think probably know just by looking at them what these things basically do in their overall function. These were designed to be extremely simplistic, versatile, and of course, very effective. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys pros and cons, who I think this product would be useful for, I'm gonna show you guys how you can use the collar hooks on a variety of different barbells. Uh, honestly, we're just scratching the surface here and some of the things you're gonna see in the video. But then I'll also show you guys some of the exercises that I've been messing around with uh, in my home gym and also going to the gym, because I think you guys can get great use of this thing, not just in your home gym, but certainly, I would say even maybe more so, bring it into a commercial gym setting. You can find these right now at collarhooks.com where you'll see yours truly on the website. I enjoyed and used this product so much and the design that I was brought on as a shareholder in the company. They're being sold right now for $39.95 a pair and if you buy more, you save a little bit. Also, you get the added benefit of free shipping. And if you need larger quantities, that would certainly be accommodated as well with a further deeper discount, just reach out via the contact form. We'll also be giving away three pairs of these to anyone who just simply leaves a comment in this video. In about a week's time, I'll do my uh, randomized selection process and we'll select three of you guys, again, simply just for leaving a comment in this video. Uh, what I again like about these things, these are USA made, but at the end, that's also cool is that these things actually are hand finished at the end. So I thought that was actually great. And to be honest, guys, when I first saw this design on paper, I was a little skeptical and just kind of wondered if this thing would actually work on a barbell. But when you do put it on, say, a standard easy curl bar, I like to kind of do it like this, where you got slack in one end and pull it on, uh, it works fine. And you're gonna see it rotates totally smooth with the collar. With, depending on the collar and what you kind of got, but it really rotates fine. It doesn't get stuck in any position. I do for myself personally, like to kind of make sure they kind of sit on the quarter and elbow and they naturally tend to fall that way anyways. But overall, end of the day, they work great. Now, just some other functional characteristics when using the collar hooks with the barbell is that once you put it on, you will see there'll be some interior kind of lateral movement with the collar hooks and you see it on there. So downward pressure. So if you want to get around that, uh, it's not really a big deal. You just take a standard collar, put it over the end of the collar here, and you can make it look nice and aesthetic and look at, make it look flush, kind of vertical that way. So that works out fine. If you are gonna use some external weight plates, which that's one of the great things about this because this is a really kind of a hybrid experience. You can use resistance bands alongside some external free weights. Tons of benefits there I won't even get into. In fact, a lot of the shots you're just seeing me use the resistance bands works good enough, but it should go without saying. The possibilities are endless when you start adding on some extra free weights. If you do choose to put some weight plates on, I will put the collar hooks on first and then the weight plate. So you can see I got a variety of different barbells here on the table. I even got some uh, two inch collar handles which work out really well, I'll get to that. This is really only scratching the surface. You'll see a little bit of light use on say equipment, say in a gym, you guys could do that. Then one of the benefits of using something like this, you're gonna gotta be careful, do it at your own risk, check with the gym, etc. Uh, is that it actually would kind of save the, the band kind of wear and tear friction, looping this thing, say, on the uh, moving part of a collar in a machine. So that's one of the benefits if you wanted to use this with a machine. But with the barbells, I'll talk about each of these things, some key exercises that I kind of found in some of the practical uses with the collar hooks. Again, you might already have one of these things, or maybe you want to pick it up and you have now an added function of using these things with free weights and now resistance bands. First of which, I think one of the best things for the collar hooks for me personally is using this thing with a four foot bar. I bought this thing a while back, very cheap on Amazon. I think this thing was less than maybe $60, but still can handle a decent amount of weight plates tension. Of course, you can handle a lot of resistance band tension. Something as simple and as cheap as this, you can do things like squats, lunges, bicep curls feel excellent. I mean, this is that's why I kind of like these dimensions. You can kind of do things for lower body and upper body. But kind of the perfect dimension for me personally. Not as short for say other bars that are out there, but it's also light enough where if this weight was kind of heavy, like I tried this with the Rogue Bands, I think I also did the Serious Steel Silver. Once I had that enough of that counter pressure pulling against me, I didn't feel like I was really supporting a heavy barbell in my hand when I was doing that press. So that was probably a big surprising thing using this four foot bar with the collar hooks. But really, I'd say all your staples are there. I don't think you're seeing me with a foot plate on some of these shots, but of course, I'm using a foot plate in some of these. I was in a gym where they had a stepper and I have a love-hate with those steppers. I think they kind of trap the bands on, but point is, if you got a foot plate, you can do things, a variety of things. Using a foot plate, overhead pressing, feels excellent, shrugs, calf raises, 
really any traditional thing you're using a resistance band bar for, you can pretty much do with a four foot bar. And then going on to easy curl bars, this is I think the cheapest one you can get on Amazon. I think I bought this for maybe 30-ish bucks. Works out great, again, with the collar hooks, uh, especially for things like, obviously, easy curls. That's probably the biggest thing. Uh, you guys know if you watch my channel, one of the things I always pretty much go to for a staple for resistance band, loose style band exercises, is always bicep curls. So this works out really great. Very cheap light bar, and I said before, I sometimes kind of like a lighter bar. You could certainly still do presses with this. You can do some things, and I've done it, but it's up to your own risk, where I would actually use these things kind of anchored to something up top. So I can do things like lat pulls, I can do tricep press downs also with this. But again, that's kind of at your own risk. It's always a, always an issue anytime you're anchoring bands high to something to make sure it doesn't you know snap back at you if something does fail. And then moving on to these uh, two inch collar handles, this really surprised me because I don't know why I didn't think about it before, even just for using it for free weights, I started kind of getting my, sp my brain spinning with some, some things, but uh, I really liked the way this thing actually felt with the resistance bands and the collar hooks on here. This one I definitely kind of put on like this little Frankenstein effect, like you're making something crazy. It looks a little weird, kind of like a bug or something, but works out really, really good. So I've covered a lot of different resistance band handles. Y'all have the unique pros and cons. You got a really sturdy, durable, but still inexpensive two inch collar handle like this. You can do so many things with this. So anchored heavy single arm rows, um, I did these torso rotations, I really liked a lot. I think I even did some single arm press downs. Moving on to this thing, I used to use this thing back in the day a lot for kind of heavy uh, hammer curls. Uh, this is again the cheapest bar possible on Amazon. I'm sure you guys have seen something like this. Kind of weird, the actual name of these, I always think it's like a hammer curl bar, but it actually goes by a tricep bar or something like that on Amazon. So of course you could do triceps on here. I put the collar hooks on here. The only problem with this you guys will see in the video is that because of the collar hook dimensions, as you're kind of rotating and turning, the band kind of likes to get stuck. So if I want to do hammer curls, I basically got to keep, the, keep that angle straight and don't turn this too much. Where I do really like this bar with the collar hooks is actually for this neutral grip press like this. So I've said a lot of times with people that either have bad shoulders, uh, I personally just like it in general too with like dumbbells, pressing with a vertical press. So now you can kind of get that benefit using a kind of this kind of neutral grip press bar to do a shoulder press without kind of flaring your shoulders out like this. So that's probably one of the biggest, I'd say pros going for this particular bar. Now I did try these on a standard Olympic barbell. However, I just personally would not recommend doing that. I don't think it's really good for one, the bands really stretch them out pretty far. And while I definitely could pull off a few exercises and did feel really good, I just don't trust that far stretch that you kind of got going on here. I also don't like, depending if someone was going super heavy or something like that, putting that excess lateral torque on the collar hooks. Granted, I think if you had a collar on, it would be fine. I just didn't really like that excess stretch you have in an Olympic barbell. These things really work more ideal for a shorter distance bar of some sort. Getting into cons and why I would still recommend, and I'll still link them down below, they're still a very proud affiliate of mine, would be things like X3 Harambe. If you wanna go super, super heavy, I really do not use like heavy deadlifts of this thickness. I did test these out for a while with super heavy bands. You can fit four foot bands in here. You can see them in the video, me doing like chest presses and stuff like that. But what will happen, just because these are the way these things are designed to be very simplistic and minimal to throw on a bar, Nine times out of 10, I'm always recommending people to, at least the way I've been using it, and it's just gonna work better anyways, is to kind of put the band more towards the back. But let's say you did something really excessive, this is why we don't recommend you putting uh, chains or even like hanging weights from this, is because you will put excess force on this elbow, which normally should never happen with bands. So I stress tested this one, so you got that kind of open. I put this on a bar, and I just started literally kind of torquing this as much as I could trying to pull it. So you could do that, but again, the point is just always whenever you're angling bands, put them more towards the elbow and that will not happen. The other thing that can happen, and again, this is me just ratcheting this one more, is that I would put it on something and I just started really pulling and just ratcheting it like this. This should really, this angle should never happen with bands regardless, uh, which is why if you do put it on, it'll come, you can see how messed up this one is, but even, even so, I can actually straighten it up if I really wanted to. What should happen though is if it's kind of laying somewhat vertical, especially if it's a closer bar, like the uh, hammer grip bar or even the four foot bar, you can put a collar on and it'll be pretty straight the whole time. It's not gonna torque. But if you're not using any kind of a collar, and let's say you're using this one right here, 
There'll be a little movement. It'll be more so something like that. It'll be much less than say a small handle, but on a big four, on a big Olympic size barbell, which is why I don't recommend it, it would be you know more excessive like that. Even then, it's probably not gonna turn too much. If it did bend a little bit, this internal ring right there, you simply can just turn it to the other side to kind of re-straighten it out. But by and large, my point is I would not go super, super heavy with something like this as far as at least having the weight sitting there for excessive periods of time. I've done heavy deadlifts and heavy squats with the even this serious steel bar and it's been totally good. Uh, it's just something to kind of be mindful about and that's one of the advantages of say one of those standalone resistance bars where these things are actually fixed on it and you don't have these little kind of tension or weak points, weak points based on this system. The design flaw in the way these things are made is that there's gonna be a little, you can say it's unique and that none of these things are gonna be the same. So you're gonna have a little nick around this portion and the curve of the collar hook. So don't think that it's a default in your particular model to all have a tiny nick or two, it kind of depends. So at the end of the day, who do I really think this product is really geared for? Or who do I think would really benefit from this product? I think first and foremost, if you are remotely into resistance band training, I think you would get some value out of this. Regardless, if you have another high quality system, I'm not putting down any of those systems that are out there. I would say this is kind of a different kind of category into resistance band accessories because there are benefits to having a whole separate setup and system. But if you were into saying using resistance bands and now you wanna say branch out and try things like maybe unique handle, uh, try of course adding weights alongside the resistance bands with some of these unique barbells, that's gonna open up some doors for you. Uh, some of these things, like even this one, like I said, this barbell right here, you can do things that maybe will be limiting to you before, say doing like a neutral grip press that you're more stick struck to like maybe a straight bar like this. Of course, it probably goes without saying these things are extremely travel friendly. If you guys are going out of town, you know the gym you're going to, the hotel gym, say it has a basic barbell or a couple barbells, you can get in your resistance band training. You of course could throw your bands along, you know, in your suitcase with this. So very light, very portable, bring it essentially everywhere. And it's always good, it's light enough that you can just throw it in there and if you don't use it, it's not a big deal. So they're very versatile in that regard. Definitely if you're a gym goer, I keep saying this a lot, but I think one of the things that's held people back before of trying resistance band barbells is that if they work out from the gym, they feel like we'll have to do this stuff in the home because they don't wanna bring a barbell to the gym. Now again, you can throw these in your gym bag. Again, check with your gym, but I think they're such a minor accessory. I don't think gyms have a problem with. In fact, again, I think most gyms are gonna probably wanna pick these up. The big market I think this really hits on was that this is really an entry level resistance band device or accessory that maybe you're someone who doesn't wanna invest a lot of money into the really high end systems, which again, are great and specialized in their own right, but you wanna try something that's a little bit lower price tag. Maybe you already have a simple barbell in your house could be a small one or a big one, or you wanna invest something really cheap, like $30 like this, and just kinda of see what that's really like. And on that same note, you guys have watched my channel that my recommendation to most people, instead of investing in really expensive barbell setups for resistance bands initially, would be go on Amazon, pick up a really cheap one to see if you even like it. The downside with the cheap ones is that you're not gonna be able to handle heavier weights or heavy resistance bands, like something like these two sitting in front of me, which are pretty thick, pretty heavy. I would say as far as entry level is concerned, it might even be cheaper going with the collar hooks and some other inexpensive, but still sturdy barbell. And last, but certainly not least, is that now you are no longer limited to just resistance bands alone. You can use these things alongside external weight plates. And that's always been the argument with resistance bands, whether you're for or against them, is that they have a unique and different strength curve and now you can maximize both with resistance bands and free weights and if you know what if you don't like these or if you don't like the weights or the bar or whatever uh, the barbell is still going to be universal you can use this for external weight plates or if you don't like the weights you can use just the resistance bands with it so that's it guys any questions comments feedback let me know again if you want to get in on that giveaway simply leave a comment down below and we'll make a drawing in about a week's time giving away three of these Check out collarhooks.com, that's where to find the product, and I will see you guys on the next video.